What's up everybody, Morta Gear back with another video. So, a new alphabet has been released yesterday night and Blizzard has not yet even finished the to prepare battle for Azeroth. They are yet preparing the content for the next Allied race after the release of the expansion and we are still in an alpha. So right now I'm going to show you this new mount that has been data mined called the Magar Direwolf and obviously is fuck is great this model is gorgeous is it's, uh, it's not it's not like the Draenor Wolf is is awesome it's completely it's completely awesome and also it only says that this is related to the Draenor orcs that has been hinted as the next allied race in the last legion in the last battle for us or q a sorry but also in the first beard that has been data mined we saw this model called orcish clan armor and now i can believe that this is the set for the heritage set when we unlock the drainer orcs i really like it it is a bit of resemblance of the armor that is wearing right now the new model of Sarfunk, but also the a bit more of the Warzone clan armor that we gain in Warlords of Draenor but also a bit Gruntish like the normal Grunts and Guards of Ogrimmar but it fits completely well in general the, the lore, the aesthetic of the Orcs and what I like really much is this is the belt that resembles me uh, la like the one that Gromash Gelscream wears or the one that Garrosh wears is re really cool I like it but also what is really interesting uh, is this map mi mini map that I'm showing you right now because it has been added as Gorgon map new in the alpha in the alphabet but what is interesting is this is not the Gorgon that we knew in Warlords of Draenor if give a look at just this uh, this part this this part all in green no, with no textures well this was supposed to be Farallon the island that was cut off e during the development of Warlords of Draenor and if you notice it other piece of the, oh, the Gorgon that we know today are not there. For example, it's not is not present the red swamp with all that mushrooms that make that controls your mind. That also a part of uh, a chain quest for the Gorgon, the Lord Master achievement. But also uh, these parts now is, is not completely well textured. But basically, this was supposed to be. A dock, because in an earlier version of the battle for uh, of the Worlds of Draenor Alpha, there was not this uh, rivalry, this the setting of uh, Earth versus uh, nature, so Magmaron versus the Ganasaur and all the underlings. But it was more like we travel through against all Blackrock orcs based uh, story. So yes, there are bit, bit some green. This is where Black Rock Foundry is, and this were supposed were to be the, the Iron Dogs that instead, on the live version, are located in this part of the map where this uh, this volcano that this where volcano is. So really cool. Really then maybe we are going to they are going to show us far along uh, as the Draenor Orcs scenario because this is kind of interesting because the armor is called orcish orcish clan armor so it's not make understand if we're going to athlet or if you're going to draenor but and this mount is called magar and we know that the magar is the faction of of nagran the outer nagran but of course uh, it is reference to all the orcs that have not been tainted and corrupted by fell magic so really interesting so maybe 
the the Iran line if you need us we will be here is going to be some kind used because a lot of people will just forget worlds of Draenor and leave that there but this is more interesting because if we're going to get the orcish clans of the of the ex iron horde in the alternate Draenor this this is really interesting because apart for the shutter for the login skull and the frostwolf they always be hostile to us of course at the end of of our fire citadel and when we def after we defeat archimon Gromas stand uh, up and proud claiming Draenor is free orcs uh, are cheering together with Draenei and so on so maybe the tension uh, have a bit uh, lessened up have been buried up on the ground so now everyone in there is friendly maybe Grom just become a, a less big of a dickhead uh, without Black and Kilrog, Nerzu and, and Kargat and the Burning burning Blade one, the not Griselda, no, it was not Griselda I don't remember her name right now but maybe now the current leaders of the other clans are maybe more calmer minded ones but it's interesting because with Sarfang being being taken prison, being a prisoner of Anduin, even if you watched my last video, you know that probably is is just talking, is just find a solution to end out the world as soon as possible. Who will be the ones that travels there to help to help us recruit these orcs? Because of course travel now is just is no more uh, is now has no more an allegiance to to the horde especially when the horde is, on, is a war it came us to Draenor but because alliance and horde traveled there together to stop the menace of the iron horde and after he lo he have lost to mama he became pretty much a uh, winner you don't have you don't he you don't have heard anything from him at the moment so this is much for it. I'm really excited because as uh, as they did er, as they did two years ago when they show us the trailer of the Return for Karazhan patch and Legion has not have Nina not came out. They are they are repeating the same. They are even preparing the fuller content after Battle for Ravs not release and the game is still in alpha build. So I'm really excited. Uh, for what I'm seeing right now of Battle for Azeroth, I really like, I really like this expansion. What I'm seeing, I s I watch all the story history of Drasvar and Nas Nasmir. I saw a bit of changes. Maybe I will cover up the changes to the Monology Warlock in the next video. But yes, the game, this game, this expansion looks very promising, and I can't wait to get at least a beta invite so I can show you more of it. Thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you soon in our next video. Bye bye.